Frankie is going to get a new accessory to the vehicle. These vans do not come with a spare tire, so we're going to install a spare tire carrier. Stay tuned. All right, well, my gift came in today. UPS delivered it. It's in the brown box. Anybody want to guess what's in the brown box? You don't have to guess, I'll let you know. One thing I noticed when I purchased the 2023 Coachman Nova, it did not come with a spare tire. They give you an air compressor to fill the tire up if it's low on air. But if you puncture a tire, that air compressor is worthless. You definitely need a spare tire. So what I did is I called Coachman to see if they would sell me a spare tire. The only thing they would sell me is the rim. I still have to go to Firestone and get the tire mounted on the rim, no problem. So I got my rim today in the box and I'm boxing it. It is boxed very well. It comes with a protective liner around the rim and the cover. And there you go. I have my aluminum rim and I'll be taking this over to Firestone to get the tire mounted on it. The question you probably have is, where am I going to mount this on the van? That's a great question. And in this video, I'm going to show you where I'm going to mount this particular wheel as my spare tire on my van. Also on the box is the part number. If anybody's interested, if they also want to get a rim from Coachman. Let the games begin. contacted Firestone, which is just down the street from me, to buy a spare tire, which is the Transforce AT, and ask them what it would cost to uh, mount the tire to the new rim and also balance. If we look at the tire, the tire is an LT225 slash 75R16, for those that are curious. You may ask yourself why Coachman does not have a spare tire underneath the Dodge Ram Promaster chassis. That's because the generator that is on the unit takes up that space, so there's no room for a spare tire. However, 2024, Coachman has decided to put on a spare tire on the back door of their coaches. So it is available for 2024 models and for going forward. Well, there you go. The next piece to the puzzle for Frankie, our van. And this particular box just arrived from Landed Gear Incorporated from San Diego, California. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. All right, let's go ahead and open the box, see what's in the contents. We have the packing list. This is the uh, template that goes on the back of the van door that has the preset holes in it so that this way the template you can drill the holes to set up the uh, tire holder. You've got the framework. For the mount. And then the box. Got your instructions. Huh, who needs instructions? We can do this blindfold. One thing that's nice about the instructions, it actually has a uh, QR code that you can scan with your phone that takes you to the YouTube video that they have showing how to properly install the tire mount. Along with the instructions is a photograph showing all the parts that come with this particular system. 
and how it's properly interfaced together to be connected onto the van. We have all the mounting product here. Bolts, nuts, even the wheel lug nut lock for the tire. Yep, let's see how this goes on, how easy it goes on. And uh, hopefully everything goes out, comes out well. Here's my work table for my project to put that tire mount on the back of Frankie. I have all my accessories or components out. One of the items that uh, I need to add is this strap. The strap would be put on the door to keep the door from opening too wide with the tire and hitting my, bra my back brake light. As you can see, when I open this door, this door actually opens like that, which would hit the brake light. So we're going to be putting that strap in at the hinge up here to keep the strap, keep the door from opening too wide. With a 15 millimeter wrench, we could take this bolt off. Hey, supervisor's got the camera on this. <laughs> okay, um, it's always good to have help. Anyways, this is the strap. I'm going to put the bolt in there. Before I tighten that completely to put on the other side, I'll have to take that screw out. Okay, with the T40 Torx, we'll loosen this side up. Not all the way, just loosen it? Nope, take it all the way out. And take the strap. So it keeps it from slamming into the back of the van. Right. You're so smart. <laughs> Thanks, supervisor. <laughs> and then we just tighten this up. Okay. Nice. And then this one we tighten up. And now, the door can only go this far. As far as it's gonna go. To test it, hopefully it closes, let's try it. Yay! Job well done. <laughs> and as you can see on the other side, there's a strap already on this one. Babe, what's the next step? I'll tell you what the next step is. I'm glad you asked. You know what the next <laughs> step is? Coffee time. Got to regroup. Make sure everything's good for the next stage of what we're going to do. So have a cup of coffee with us. Or if you'd like, you can buy us a cup of coffee. We appreciate you. Hey, what are you guys doing while Dad's doing all the work? Freya, what are you doing? <laughs> They're taking a coffee break too. Freya! Freya, it is arrow in your way, sister? Hey. All right, the next item that we're gonna do is take these Phillips screws off the door panel. <laughs> we also have our dogs that are here to help. <laughs> you know, they benefit from riding in this thing. Freya nine. Of course, Freya doesn't like to share the ball. 
She's very vocal. Arrow's a good boy. <laughs> He's a nosy boy. <laughs> it's not a food or lick stick uh, boy. And then the panel. Pops her off. Pops her off. Pops okay, her right off. I could do that later. Put insulation yeah, in? Yeah, the reason they don't like to put insulation in here is they're afraid that this would interfere with the mechanism. That's why they never put insulation in the door. Got you. That's right. That's okay. All right. Next thing. Use their dirty garage. I gotta clean it out. <laughs> what? I said, excuse our dirty garage. I've got to clean it out. It's winter. Is this a template they gave you? Yeah. Hey. So this template. Let me go this side where the sun's not at. Goes to the side. Just above this plastic trim. And it has four holes. But I got a mark where I'm going to drill. Do you me hold it? As you guys can see... He has taped the corners to make sure that it stays in place so that he can mark it correctly. Okay. Then, you bring out your Sharpie. And you mark where the holes are. Okay. And then... There's your dots. And I'll be drilling. My mama gets the camera. We get lots of videos. <laughs> I see. Arrow. I see. Good boy. That's the purple. Okay. You're going to what? Center punch for the drill. So where the drill goes. Oh, God. Oh, babe. That, like, made my heart. Like, making holes in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Must be nervous. Get an eighth inch uh, drill bit and start drilling. There's no going back, babe. <laughs> Supervisor, you kicked me out of the job now or fire yeah, me? Yeah, I know. I'm like, made me nervous making holes in it. Get out of that box. Get out of that box. You have to film there. I gotta get ready for the next one. This is camera side. Where are you? There you are. She's trying to stay in the shade. What? She's trying to stay in the shade. This is a step drill. So what we're going to do is we're going to open that hole up to 7 16th. You see 7 16th there. The next uh, measurement is half inch. So if I get to this ledge, I'm at the right hole diameter. Oh, that makes me even more nervous. Nope. <laughs> I gotta get a better battery. Oh my gosh. Or a bigger drill. You say you need to buy something. Okay. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> nope, bigger drill. When in trouble, we bring out the big gun. 
We bring out the old school. That's what, 50 years old? Yep, 50 years old. Instructions say that you could either paint these holes with nail polish or uh, paint, touch up paint, or put grease in just to keep it from rusting or keep it from rusting or corrosion. I'm just going to put some grease on it. On both sides or just the one side? Just the one side. All right, so I've got these things preset on the mount. Got the spacers and the insulator pads. And you're just screwing them in on the other side? No, I'm putting in these pads. Okay. It's a little difficult to get to, so. Hold on just a second, okay? You can't see. put these pads on this side these pads have the wider part down at the bottom oh, okay yes see And I need uh, stabilizer bar. Hey. <laughs> what do you have to have the stabilizer bar for? They're for the. Uh, they're to stabilize the tire. Oh, the weight. Mount the weight. Yeah. So. Does it tell you what angle to put it at? We'll line this up once we... So that stabilizes against that metal bracket. This stabilizes against this metal bracket. So if you could take that. So the weight of the tire won't flex the door panel. It'll come against the second metal part right here. After you put the door thing back on. Yep. So this thing rides against this oh, angle. I got you. Yep, just like this rides over here. I got you. Okay. Go shut it off. So I'm just gonna snug these bolts up to make sure these are square.
Okay, that's tight. And then can you hold? There you go. Like that, yeah. yeah. And I'll tighten this. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up here. So you don't have to hold that in place. Okay. So hang on. You don't have to hold that uh on the other rubber. side? No, the rubber right there. Okay. Oh, I got you. Let's see. So, this is mounted on there pretty good, but we still got to torque it down. So, I'm going to get my torque wrench and we're going to torque it down. We have our torque wrench down here. No, right here. I was showing them what we did with this side. You torque it till this thing clicks. When you say 25, what do you mean? That's the 25 foot pounds. Okay. How do you do it's that? A, you adjust it on the scale here. Oh, okay. On the wrench. And then it just clicks to tell you they're at 25. Oh, okay. For those like me that don't know like that. tire put it out of the mount and hopefully it holds the tire if it does it i'm gonna have words with my supervisor <laughs> spin with the knees there you go Where did we get our tire? From uh, landing gear. Landing gear. And they give you these. N no, I mean the tire tire. Oh, tire. Fire smoke. So they give you two normal bolts to bolt the tire on the uh, mount. So 
it's a 19 millimeter socket. And then they also give you a special bolt with a key on it. So this way when you put it on, nobody can steal your tire unless they have the key. But I'm sure these keys are readily available throughout anywhere. So. <laughs> Possibility. Here's the key. Could you order your own if you wanted? I don't know. That's a good question. <clears throat> there you go. Tighten this up though. That right now. I have a socket wrench. I just had a socket wrench to tighten it on. That's tight. That's tight. Now, that tire is on there. Bet you're wondering what's inside this box, honey. <laughs> well, we can't guess without pulling it out, can we? It's paper. Carol, you want to take a guess? It's our tire cover. Whoop, whoop. Let's twist it. Yeah. That is not my dog barking, just an FYI. I don't allow mine to bark like that. <laughs> Straighten it up some. There you go. I need. Twist it a little bit there. <clears throat> it's not centered. It's not centered? Uh-uh, see? The bottom is to the side. Oh, okay. Did you get the gist? <laughs> All right, so we try to recenter as best we can because <laughs> my supervisor is O, B, C, D, E, F, G. And <laughs> the strap keeps the door coming over. So we're good there. And then the other test is let's see if it closes. Voila! And it doesn't seem heavy, does it? No. That's nice. Is it hard to open it where the handle is? No. Hey, open that again. And there's where Frey has been on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put on the side panel. We're done. I noticed there is no insulation here. I'm probably going to put some insulation in when wintertime comes next year. I don't have any insulation. What do you think, Freya? Everything good in there? Thumbs up? All right. Hi. Hi, Mama. Did you see your picture on the back of the van? Arrow, you don't care, do you, buddy? Back panel is in. Let's go ahead and close the door. There we go. We are off on adventure. I wonder if people wonder if we have dogs in our van. I don't know what the clue will be. And there's supervisor. She's got her seat right there. Everything okay, Arrow? Does it work for you? You're now a movie star. <laughs> you got your name and lights. 
All right, thanks for everybody for watching. I hope this helps anybody who wants to put a tire carrier on the back of their Nova or beyond or whatever uh, from Landing Gear out of San Diego, California.